Okay, so I told you I'm a math teacher, and uh, I'm asking kids what they think about math. So what do you think about math? Uh, I think it's very important. Classic. Yeah, do, do you work hard at it? Uh, no. No? <laughs> so do you like math? Yes. 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 You, could, you could say no. You said no two seconds ago. No. <laughs> do you like math? Can. Yeah? Yes. Are you good? No. Yeah. yeah. Can you say something for me? Can you say yay math? Can you say yay math? Yay math! Now dance. <laughs> dancing, dancing. I come in there. Look 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 uh, students from a school trip and uh, we're in Jerusalem the Holy Land all right just want to point out a few uh, thank you for that <laughs> a few stats last year this time we're at a hundred thousand views all right on YouTube we're now close to 400,000 views um, yay math on the Facebook friends is a thousand from 23 countries Okay, which is cool be famous, guys. what do you think yeah and you guys are being filmed okay? So obviously, if you have 400,000 hits, um, it seems to me that there's like there's a platform created where people are watching and listening. And so I thought about it. It's like if people are going to watch this video out there, what do I, what message do I want to send? And the message that I think that if people are listening to send is I'm thinking, how can I best help people? You know, like that's if anyone has people listening to them, how can they best help people? This place is so naturally beautiful. And the whole percent of it never still was. Look at this plant. You know there's a, a the tradition when you when you come to this country that to give some sort of charity. You know, have you heard of this tradition? Ten dollars. I was ready to give a donation, and I was deciding who I would give the donation to. And uh, I came up with this. It, I, it never occurred to me, but it happened kind of by chance. I was at the school where these kids are staying. It was around 5:30, and I went to the uh, I went to the bathroom around 5:30 in the afternoon. And there was this this lady, kind of older lady, in there cleaning the bathroom. And she saw that I came in, and she walked out. You know, out of res like yeah. kind of respect, and then she saw that I was leaving, and then I went back in. You know, yeah. and on my way out, I was like, I have it. This is it. So I took two fives out, and I put it like next to her uh, rubber gloves at her workstation, nice. next to the bathroom. Nice. And I just figured, I mean, you could give it to a charity, or you can give it to like even a a beggar, but I was like, I'm not going to give it to any beggar. I'm going to give it to the person who's cleaning the bathroom. Yeah. You know? That's the problem today. Beggars became a business. Beggars became a business. And you don't know who is worth to get it or not. Yeah. Who is not. I'm, I'm saying if someone's cleaning the bathroom with the empty school at 5.30 in the afternoon, I'm going to give them a little. Yeah. And I, I like to think that there's something that they did and there's something she did in her life to recently deserve it and so that she'll continue to I do it. Do you, you, you believe in stuff like that? Here we are at the Sea of Galilee. Sea of Galilee is the story 
of where Jesus walks on water. Always love the historical landmarks and always love the sources of water on my trips. It's kind of a theme. Just can't help but be spiritual in places like this. You know, you just can't help it. Everything that I believe about like, what I think the point of life is just comes right to the surface. You know, and what do I think the point of life is? I think the point of life is to share and spread knowledge from one to another, to, to assist others in need and receive assistance from those that are out in this world to help us and to kind of co-mingle and coexist towards the benefit of each other. And uh, I gotta say that it's happening. So far, so good for me. For anyone that's watching this, I definitely hope that you're being helped by what we're trying to do in this small little vision called the Yay Math. I mean, I'm definitely moved by all the stories that I'm reading. Thank you for the donations. It's just so kind for everyone that's donated. It's really, it really means a lot. And I'm telling you, it goes into practice. It goes into use. And uh, I want to stay in contact with everyone that's, that's reaching out because that's the only way I'm going to advance. It's the only way that I'm going to advance. This teacher turned, uh, you know, kind of math ambassador of sorts. The only way I'm going to do it is to stay in contact with people that are watching. I guess I'll end with a story, you know, there's a story that I have about like the spirit of what we're trying to accomplish with this project and that is the following, okay? And it's kind of difficult to avoid stories about like a higher power when you're in the Holy Land, so it's kind of the stories involving that, alright? So there's a story about this guy who did not live a life of virtue and he is sent to hell, okay? And in hell, he sees this beautiful dining area with a long table it's beautiful, elaborate, um, like uh, decorations and everything. And on the table, it's all this beautiful food. And it looks and it smells fantastic. But everyone sitting at the tables are, have these huge vices on their arms that keeps their arms straight, okay? And what they're trying to do is they're like, they put the food in their spoon, but they can't reach it to their mouths. And they're in suffering and they're in torture because they can't like eat in this situation, all right? And uh, that's, their, that's their hell. Okay, and then there's another guy who's sent to heaven after living a life of virtue. He walks into the same type of room, beautiful big room, long table full of food, right? looks and smells great. And their arms are also covered in vices like this. Okay? And then when they try to feed themselves with the food, they can't. But what they figured out is that they can pick up the food and reach across the table and feed the people across the table from them. And that's their heaven because those are the type of people that are sent to heaven. If you have... A plus uh, human beings. A plus human beings, yeah. If you have, like, restrictions in life, we can still reach out and help other people. So imagine a, a heaven where there's a huge table and everyone reaching across and feeding each other food, you know?